lazy language. So here's a thought for the evening. Um, I think the further away from, the further into technology, the more words we get, the further away from old times, times of Israel, times of Genesis, just the further into time we get, the more the enemy gets the opportunity to slice and dice and kind of manipulate things, specifically confusing our identity just in the, in the form of the verb to be. Here's what I mean. God calls things that are not as though they were. And with lazy language, someone may say something nasty and you'll say, why are you being so nasty? You're being nasty to me. Wait, hold it. You're acting nasty, not being nasty. See, God calls things that are not as though they were. And love, God is love. Love always hopes, always protects, always perseveres, right? So it keeps no record of wrongs. So is it a really loving thing to say to anybody to say, you're being nasty? Wait, that's their being. No, they're acting in a nasty way, perhaps, or acted, because it's now past. So here's the encouragement. Let's take the word to be, and let's use a little more caution with it. I think, I think the enemy, in that little subtle way, gets one another. Look, the enemy is the accuser of the brother. And I think that life and death is in the power of the tongue. I believe that God calls you a precious treasure. It doesn't matter what you've done. He calls things that are not as though they were. He speaks life into your future. And I think we should do that to one another. And this little thing of lazy language, be careful with that verb to be. It's an identity verb. It speaks identity over people. You've got a lot of power in that tongue. And I say, according to the Lord, that you are so loved. And that's your thought for the night. Take care.